What's up guys, I'm Paul and welcome to the Hayward Jewelry YouTube channel. So this is a follow-up video to two of the most popular videos on this channel, which is how to become a gemologist and also the career options that are available for a gemologist. And the reason I'm making this video is I've had a few people reach out to me basically asking should they consider gemology as a career choice and a few other questions around that. And I thought I'd make this video to hopefully clear this up for people who are considering gemology as a career. And the first one is that Gemology isn't really a career. It's very rare you'll actually be employed anywhere as a gemologist. Gemology is more of a skill that you apply to different areas, then you can build careers or businesses around different things. But gemology is a skill that's applicable to that career or business, if that makes sense. And it's not like careers like being a lawyer or being an accountant, where you have a very defined career path. You don't have that in gemology. It's not a defined career. And I'll give you some examples. I know a lot of people who have got exactly the same qualifications as me, but we all do different things. For me personally, I use my gemology training to buy job lots of gemstones. I buy them from scrapped gold dealers and I also buy them from jewelers that are closing down. I then sort these gems out, I identify them, and then I assess them before selling them on to either other jewelers or I put them in jewelry myself and sell them on to the end customer. The reason I do that is because I like the hustle of buying and selling gemstones. Other people I know have gone on to become valuers. Other people work in gem labs. Other people go on to work in retail where they combine the skill of gemology with the ability to sell. And if you're a good salesperson and you know what you're talking about in gemstones, you can definitely work your way up the ladder and work to the tippy top of the scale and go and work for places like Graph. There's other people I know who have gone onto the education side of things, gone on to educate people in the field of gemology. And I've done a little bit of this myself and I do enjoy it. I briefly taught at university, I've done private tuition. I've also created my own online diamond course, which if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And this is why it's very hard to define what a gemologist actually does, because it depends on what you're doing in your job or your business. Because what I do and the way I use gemology isn't gonna be the same way as somebody else uses gemology. There's not kind of a universal blueprint for being a gemologist and how we use this and how we use this in a day-to-day -day basis. And there's only really two options, in my opinion, that get you close to being a pure gemologist. The first one is working in a gem lab because you're going to be identifying gemstones, you're going to be seeing if they're natural or synthetic, identifying treatments and maybe origin reports and things like that. It's the closest really to being a pure gemologist because all you're doing all day is you're looking at stones, making identifications and producing reports. The second one is a little bit different and that's being a field gemologist, actually being out there, going and visiting mines, looking at natural crystals and identifying what the crystals are and also assessing whether they've got any commercial value. These are the two closest, in my opinion, to being a pure gemologist but they're still slightly different in the way they work. If you work in a lab, you work in a very controlled environment and you're mainly gonna be looking at fashioned and faceted stones. If you're out there in the field, you're gonna be looking at natural crystals. And it's a different approach to identifying the two because the way you look at fashioned stones and faceted stones is different to the way you identify crystals. It's a slightly different process. But these are the two purest ones for gemology for me. All the other options, it's kind of you use it as a core and then you build off that and you use other skills around the gemology. So it doesn't have this defined career path. It's very much you learn the basic skill, then you find a way to apply that to a job or a business, and you also apply it to something that you enjoy doing. Because for me personally, working in a lab, I wouldn't enjoy it. It's just not the environment I enjoy being in. I like the hustle of actually buying and dealing in stones and being able to see lots of different examples. That's just what I like doing. But I know people who work in labs who wouldn't want to do what I do. It's very much applying this skill to a field that you enjoy doing and that you can potentially make some money from. And talking about money, I've had people ask about the financial rewards, basically how much do you get paid being a gemologist? And I'm gonna be brutally honest here and say it can be quite difficult to make a living as a gemologist because it depends on what you're doing and how you apply that skill. Now, if money is your main motivator in getting a trade or a profession, 
I wouldn't actually recommend gemology, I really wouldn't. Considering when you have to factor in the time and financial investment you actually need to put in to become a gemologist, there's no guaranteed rewards at the end of it. I know there isn't with any training, but it's even less so with gemology. If you spent the same amount of time, say three, four years, trained to be an accountant, there's a much higher chance of you getting a decent paying job at the end of it. Because there's way more people need accountants than people need gemologists. It's a pretty niche skill. And this is why if money is your main motivator, as I say, I wouldn't recommend gemology, there's much better options out there. But what you will find is gemologists are passionate people. They enjoy what they do. For me personally, I absolutely love dealing with gemstones, but what I like about it is I can apply it to the things I enjoy doing because I like buying and selling. I've been a bit of a hustler all my life. I love buying and selling and the fact that I can do it with gemstones is absolutely awesome. And that's the reason why I learned to be a gemologist because I ran a retailer and I wanted to know more about the things I was buying and selling and I've just kind of grown that from there. But other people apply it in different ways. But it's about carving your own career path. There's no defined option out there. I can't really stress that one enough. It's defining your own career path, making the choice, finding out what you want to do and then following it on that path. It's not going to be laid out for you. You have to find your own path. So I hope this video has been helpful and answered a few questions around the world of being a gemologist and whether or not you should pursue it as a potential career option or not. If you have found it helpful, a like would be absolutely awesome. Also consider subscribing if you want more gems and jewel related content. So thank you so much for watching guys, stay awesome and I'll see you in the next one.